BJ's. Please scan your membership card. This bouquet of flowers is making me so emotional right now. This week has been an emotional week for me. In Jamaica, I sprained my ankle and a friend sent me flowers. And it, oh! Charlene. I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. You brought happy tears to my eyes. The entire week. I, ugh, girl, okay, I can't even talk. I haven't opened the, um, the card the envelope as yet. But just the thought of it, I'm like, what? <laughs> You're so kind. I love this and I really appreciate you. Welcome to or back to the channel. I'm Shauna. I'm back home in Charlotte. I've been back home for the past week and couple of days. Yeah, for the past week and couple of days, my Jamaica trip did not turn out the way I wanted it to. We have so much to catch up on. I need to go get some grocery. I have nothing home. I'm hungry. Today is Saturday, August the 12th, is it? Hey, Alexa, what's today's date? I think. It's Saturday, August 12th. Saturday, August 12th. I've been out of work for almost two weeks. So I have to, you know, get back into my everyday routine. Try to get back on board, getting settled in. Because for the past two weeks of my life, I've been, you know, like a roller coaster. Up and down. Listen, let me tell you. Let me look you in the eyes and tell you. I am going to redo my Jamaica trip. Do you guys know the time, the effort, the money comes into planning an international trip? Whether you're going back home to your country or not to plan a trip, to plan an international trip, whether it's a couple days or a week, do you really know the time, the effort, the expense that goes into a trip? And for my Jamaica trip to end the way it did, no, mm -mm. I am redoing my Jamaica trip. And this time, I'm going to be very selective of the persons I want around me. I think the next time I'm going back to Jamaica and I'm trying to do it by the end of summer, I'm going to be a tourist in my own country. It's going to be a weekly vlog, a week in the life of back home in Charlotte. This week will be my first week of back to work and officially a couple days ago, I made it to my 90 days at mark at work. Super happy. Cannot believe that I've moved here for little over three months going on four months and been at the job for three months and i finally have probation at work so my jamaica trip i went on a week ago i did not get paid for my time off because i, I did not meet my 90 days so the next trip i'm going on i will be on vac paid vacation so you know we're going to do some food shopping we're gonna cook, catch up on life, week in the life, going back to work, life updates. I've been struggling. Oh, oh dear me. My foot is doing so much better. If you did not check my last vlog out, I sprained my foot in Jamaica over a week ago. Listen, I had a rough week, okay? Thanks to everyone that was being so kind and sweet. Send me flowers. Send me, you know, get well soon. Love the love. I appreciate it. Trust me. I really do. Thank My two cars are filthy. <laughs> need to be washed. Need to be cleaned. So I need a guy in my life because me doing everything by myself is draining. I feel exhausted. I feel overwhelmed. It's like it's just too much going on work cook clean take care of the two cars like ugh, ugh, ugh. life over here
Okay, I'm bad. It's just so much to get done. I totally forgot that my cars need to be clean. Ay, ay, ay. I need to get gas. And if you know, I hate pumping gas. I'm getting a smoothie. I'm making better choices. I wanted to go to Starbucks to get a Starbucks and light and nah. Let's get something healthy or somewhat healthy. Hi, how are you? Can I get a sunrise sunset? sun is hotter in Charlotte or in Jamaica because the sun is hot I got gas um, I got gas I got a smoothie now I'm going to go buy BJ's I got a BJ's um, shopping card before I only had the Sam's Club yes okay, so I'm gonna go buy BJ's see what's up Look, oh, I am sweating. Damn, it's so hard. Yeah, so let's go buy BJ's and see what's in BJ's where I can get. I'm gonna also go to Compare's Food because I'm feeling like so I'm gonna I'm going to make myself a nice fish dinner. I've been eating fast food. For the past week and oh my god it's taking a toll on me so i'm going to i'm going to get some i'm going to make a nice fish dinner today let's see what i'm going to pick up in details today hello It's about to be Halloween. I wonder if I'm going to go to Halloween party this year. I'm getting some eggs and the tray is $7.99 plus tax. I also so pick up some French toast. I love French toast. And that is for $9.99. I got, I got some crab cakes. I don't remember how much the crab cake is for. But we're going to go back and check. You guys can see the prices. So this is the closest best eating um, Jamaica style party, and it's for them. Raise it! Wow! Wow! They raise the parties. Come on, guys! So this is. $14.99 and this is the best tasting one and I love the cheese if you want to have cheese chicken they have the cheesy one and the chicken and the spicy beef but I love 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 cheese patties so yeah I'm also getting one of these affordable coffee for $4.99 to make my iced coffees at home. The crop cakes are 12 or 79. Welcome to BJ's. 
Please scan your membership card or touch card scanned. I'm tired. The sun is hot. Oh my god. The sun is hot. Every week, food is getting more and more expensive. I cannot believe I picked up just those few stuff in BJ's. Okay, I need some AC. This is driving me crazy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I cannot believe these few items come out to a hundred dollars cannot believe it and I need to stop at compares foods and Walmart and I'm not doing a monthly grocery shopping imagine if I'm shopping for three to four okay okay <laughs> that's a very high sleeping police imagine if imagine if I was shopping for three to four people food is expensive Food is pricey. Compares a supermarket. Why is corn and beef so expensive? Like seriously. Uh, I'm back home super hungry and tired. Grocery shopping is work. Imagine going to the grocery store, taking the stuff off the shelf, right? Take them out of the trolley, cash them, put them back in the trolley, from the trolley to your car. Bring them from your car to into your house, right? And pat them on your counter. Clean the fridge. Put stuff away once you get home. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of moving parts with doing grocery shopping. That's a lot of arm work, okay? I did work out today. That's a lot of lifting, putting, lifting, putting, cashing. Let's start off in the fridge. So what I got, I had to put the meat in the fridge because it's so hot. It was getting warm. I picked up some stew beef to make some pea soup. I haven't had a pea soup in forever and it's going to be raining in the next day or two. So I'm thinking about making a nice pot of rich red peas soup okay cannot wait probably i do it tomorrow don't know but i wish i had a pot of red pea soup right now but anyway i also picked up um some chicken ties and chicken wing yeah some chicken wing back there so that's it for the freezer those were um getting um warm over here is the stuff that I got at BJ's. We already saw these, so I'm gonna put these in the fridge. If you guys haven't tried this bacon and scallops, let me tell you, delicious, delicious. Also, a pack of basmatic rice that I got. I need to clean this cupboard out. It's like it's so much going on right here. Need to clean this cupboard out, but over here i have a two red snapper fresh cannot wait to make myself a nice steam fish picked up two red snapper right here i mostly get juice and water because i drink a lot and it's super hot so that's what i got some onions pepper the peas for the red pea soup some festival for fish 
I love to put the sweet banana pepper in my salad. It just gives my salad a kick. I picked up some okra for my steamed fish, some um, chicken breast. Let's put this in the freezer. This drink right here is really good. I have a cup of waters over here. I picked up some cog soup, pumpkin mix, and some coconut powder. My favorite popcorn to snack on. The best you get to ginger beer. This brand right here, ginger beer, love it. Grace Tropical Rhythm. You can taste the pineapple and the ginger. Love this drink. It's in Walmart. Give it a try. Got some coconut water, some lettuce over here, some cucumbers, some mini cucumbers for my salad, some sweet pepper lemon love 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 fried plantain red onions toast island for my salad some cleaning product over here picks up some grape this is a lot of grape for five dollars oh it doesn't go bad oh they are good so i can enjoy them so let's run that for now I have some green banana right here watermelon I got one sweet potato for my red peas soup have some cabbage right here potato five paper some toothpaste a pack of salad to make my salad for work coffee of course I picked up this champagne right here with some orange juice to make some mimosa I'm trying this coconut almond um, mix thing for the first time for my iced coffee. And this is pretty much what I got for grocery shopping today. I spent $100 in BJ's. And I spent, a, yeah, I spent $100 in BJ's. I spent $105 at Compare Foods. And I spent $80 in Walmart. And this is all I got. I'm like really this is all I got and I did get some the rice right here this rice right here I was thinking so hard if I should get the rice because I'm not really a rice person but I just picked it up and it's 20 something dollars for this pocket rice right here I don't know but yeah I'm going to put all these stuff away and enjoy some grape this is a lot of grape I was trying a kombucha cleanse for the past three days not sure if it helped I'm going to continue for the next couple of days and then I will do a review but so far the best of flavor is the cayenne cleanse until a week from now so i need to find you know a second work shoe to wear to work tomorrow today the goal is to find a work shoe right now it's currently 10 30 a.m sunday morning 13th of august and i'm going to macy's if not i'm going to try concord mall 
yeah so wish me luck i hope i find something in macy's that i don't have to go somewhere else Please be open. Yay. I stopped somewhere before I got here. Good thing. Because I left home at 10 30 and they open at 11. But I made two stops before I got here. That's just. This is a cute. army green skirts for some reason i don't wear skirts or dresses for work i always wear pants don't know why i need to get some blazer i need to get some blazer for the upcoming season because you guys know once uh, September it's it's going to be a bit chillier. This is not it's not bad. This is the medium. It's a cur the price now is $79.50. I'm going to watch this blazer online when they have sale. And I'm getting this blazer. This should be nice to run the office and I love the way it have like a length so it's somewhat below my butt I like it and this blazer could also pair with a nice shorts I'm loving the look with blazer shorts a nice you know little top a sneakers or some eels I'm loving that look for like a brunch or just you know a chill date night or something yeah I'm looking for eel this low so I can be comfortable at work I wanted to go inside Express to find a top or work pants but they are closed. I wanted to find like a work shirt. What's going on? I wonder what time they open. There's no lock in Macy's. Find a pair of shoe, and the pair of shoe that I found on Clark's, I love it, but it's not gonna get here in time, so I need to find something. I think I came to the mall too early. I think I'm here way too early because even. Bought and body works over there is closed. Sweet Jesus. I start my mission too early. <laughs> Let's try Aldo. See if Aldo is open. I came way too early. It's 11.58 a.m. and majority of the stores are still closed i'm way too early for this mission way too early i have a couple more errands to run so probably i'll be back or i'm going to try 
and see. I know Concord Mall have a couple shoe store there. So I'm going to check and see if I find something. Okay, Concord Mall is 13 minutes away. So turn right onto North Lake Mall Drive. Let's hope that they're open fully. I just need a cheap at I the just, next stop sign. Turn left. I just need a cheap uh, work shoe. That's all. Nothing fancy, you know. I've never liked these shoes, but due to the fact that my ankle is sprained and I try one on my feet and I'm loving it and think about getting one of these shoes right here. I'm thinking about getting this one. So Steve might have a sale at Concord Mall. Buy one shoe, get one off price. So I'm thinking about getting one of these right here and one of these right here. So I tried it. Okay, my ankle is a bit swollen. I am loving these two slippers right here. Look how cute this bag is. In the summertime, having leather for your car seat. Oh my god. Mm -mm. I did a little shopping. When it's hot, it's hot. I cannot believe it's 2.32 p.m. And I left home at 10.30. And it took me that many hours to find myself a pair of work shoes. That's bad. I haven't eaten all morning. I'm starving. I did not get to make my steamed fish last night because after I packed my grocery out, the AC is blasting. Sorry if you guys can hear me properly. After packing my grocery out last night, I was on the phone talking to my mom for over an hour. After talking to my mom, I was not in the cooking mood. And I put two of the crab, crab patties in the oven and with some um, with some pineapple juice and that's all I had last night so I'm super starving I'm going home to make my steam fish I wanted to go by the pool today but I'm not sure because it's super hot and I'm I think I want to go into the water when I get by the pool but I have so much more stuff to get done I'm home I'm going to make myself some delicious steam fish so real quick and fast some steam fish and green banana I am so hungry this would be my Sunday dinner mm -mm -mm. Now let me tell you this is um some chicken breast I'm going to season this for my chicken salad for um, the coming work week but this right here Is what we're doing my ingredients for my steam fish over here I have three fingers of green banana my fish a lemon to wash my fish some thyme onion sweet pepper okra carrot pepper garlic potato i don't have any pumpkin so i'm using a pumpkin mix okay butter black pepper i have an avocado over here some salt pimento from jamaica rich pimento okay some fish seasoning all purpose and i might just might fry one of these rye plantain not sure i'm super hungry i cannot wait for my steamed fish to be ready the only thing that's really missing is a pumpkin, but I'm going to use Gray's pumpkin mix that never fails me yet. But yeah, this is what happened over here Sunday in the life. Also, I'm going to show you guys what I got at Steve Madden. 
and I also got a work top at H&M. I also got um, a compression socks for my ankle. It's been working so far. I think it's like four or five days now. I'm wearing this um, one of these compression socks. Got it from Amazon, but this is what we're looking like over here. My wig right here. I'm gonna try something, something, something. But yeah, this is Shauna's kitchen today. My mom is on the phone keeping me company. Say hi, vlog mother. Hi. <laughs> my pot over here for my banana and my steam fish. Starting off by adding some butter. It's time to add the fish. Okay, let's take a look at what I got. You guys cannot tell me this is not cute, okay? This is one cute bag this is so cute for a brunch or you know running errands all you need is your phone and your keys and this is you know like your lip balm your lip gloss so cute i hope the camera is doing justice because this is a small and cute I love it. Comparing to my Mark Jacob Snapchat bag, it's bigger but it's cute. It has two different straps. The broad straps. If you are a person that like broad straps, if not, you have the smaller strap right here. Cute. So I got that over here. I'm surprised that I bought this shoe. Super surprised. That I bought this shoe. I am shocked. I cannot believe I purchased this for myself. This is what I got. Listen, when I dress this up, going to work tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys my fit. Okay, I am rocking this shoe tomorrow. This is low key though, giving me like a old school Jamaican um back to school shoe. The, they have the one with the like the chains across right here not loving those but this is neat on my feet reason being i cannot really wear like a um like an eel to work because of my ankle that i got sprained in jamaica but my ankle is getting better as the days go by and i also get this one for when my ankle is feeling much better and then I also have the one that I purchased last night on Clark so when those come I would definitely show you guys but I think the eel this is a nice um, you know work shoe for the office the eel is low you know enough for work it's not really high I need to get a new work shoe because all the work shoe I have is a black. I need a nude work shoe. But yeah, this is what I got. Oh, I also got a top that I think I will be wearing tomorrow. I'm going to put this top right now in the dryer to kill, you know, any germs I can kill with the eat. But I'm loving this top. A nice you know soft pinkish color i would say i hope it's showing pink on camera 
but this nice silk work top I got from H&M for 24 24 99 with tax came out to 26 something something but I have these in so much different colors but I don't have this color and I think for work tomorrow this top right here with a pants this shoe right here let's go check on my fish oh oh okay it's done my fish is done now i'm somewhat low-key sorry I did not steam boat fish because maybe I will need to go for seconds but my three fingers of banana is finished I'm going to plate my food and this dish right here slice up my avocado with a nice cool drink oh! green banana avocado and a nice fresh red steam snapper Look at it. You see the color that I got from the pumpkin mix? Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a bite. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. No, this is not because I made it, but mm -mm -mm. this new company. This right here? Me some good company. Mm -mm -mm. But you guys are my company. And of course, I'm going to mash my green banana in this steamed fish juice right here. Mm -mm -mm. All this steamed fish juice right here. When I mash my green banana, oh. mm -mm -mm. I'm having this with some pineapple and ginger travel clad rhythm. Ugh. I am going to sit right here in this chair right here and enjoy my Sunday dinner. Let's spin you around. Take a look. You guys see the steam that's coming from my steam fish? Oh god, this is so delicious. Look at the steam. Mm -mm -mm. You have to see the steam. I know you see the steam. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Love it. Dinner is done. This was so delicious. I need to do this again. This is so delicious. It's Friday! Happy Friday, guys. This week went by so fast. It was a fast work week, let me tell you. Very fast. I can never find my car keys. I'm about to go get myself a massage. I need a massage badly. I wanted to do a massage from I was in Jamaica. This week I did some research here in Charlotte and I found a nice massage place 15 minutes away from me. So I have a four o'clock appointment today to do a full body massage for 90 minutes. 90 minutes, I'm going to have someone, you know, massage my body with the oils, all that jazz, the laying down, you know, some self care. I'm a big self-care person, so that's what my Friday Massage all done. I don't have a clue what area of Charlotte I'm in, but of course, one of my subscribers know where I'm at.
there's like dance fever over there the fitness studio all that all I've been doing since At the roundabout, I got the massage. take the third exit onto Prosperity Ridge Road, then bear right to merge onto I-485 South. All I've been doing since I got the massage is yawning. I feel so relaxed. My neck will feel way better. It's an African place. I will leave all the information in the description down below. I am not good at leaving description, but I'm going to remember use the right leave. lane to bear right to merge onto i-485 south i will remember to leave the information in the description i am not good with leaving information in the description i'm working on that so i am going to get myself a nice smoothie and this is my friday night going for a quick bite and some drinks this is the same bag i showed you guys earlier that i got at steve madden this is the outfit little cute simple black dress gucci slippers the bag jewelry i'm having a bad lace front day don't know what's going on but my lace front is lifting up so this bucket hat is helping me out tonight Let's go. The massage I got knocked me out. I came home, took a shower, and I was sleeping for hours. It's now 9.15 p.m. I'm in the mood to, you know, somewhat put myself together and, you know, go for a couple drinks. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we want to because we wanna we wanna yeah we just wanna have fun the trunk's full of wine we're gonna stay up at the time of our lives the night is young don't need anybody else we came to party all night long and we don't need no chaperone we don't need nobody's attention yeah we just wanna Good morning, it's a Sunday. My shoe from Clark's came. Love these kitty eels. I had three pair of these in the past. Love them, especially when the time is chilly. These are so cute on my feet. Love them, so cute. I got these in a size nine. Love these little cute low eel boots vibe for the upcoming season when it's chillier outside love them these are my fall work shoe love it my work shoe is not really work shoe i just get some shoes and make it my work shoes so yeah happy sunday today is official one week since i started this vlog today is the 20th of august and last night was fun i came back home at two something had mad fun last night love it please remember to like comment and subscribe and i see you guys in my next vlog